This week on launch, another great Zapier integration from a tool in our space. Google just ripped off a bunch of Notion's best features. And what is that? Is that a bit of innovation from the tax space? Here's six new launches to make accountants like you more productive. Seems like every week I'm talking about Airtable and you know why? Because it's no codes killer app. It's so good. There's an entire ecosystem of goodies being built around it right now. And one of the apps that's been at the forefront of that movement the past couple years, a tool called Stacker. It's an app builder that works off of your Airtable basis to build pretty much anything. It presents your Airtable data on a website. You can set up user logins, let users update the data securely. And for what it's always lacked in Razzle Dazzle, it made up for in flexibility. You could build all sorts of things with this, from customer portals to internal wikis. Well, Stacker just shipped version two of its platform. It's a big step forward. Much more flexibility in the visual layout of your app. Integrations now with Google Sheets, Stripe, Intercom, and Salesforce. So you can pull multiple data sources into an app and a greater emphasis on actions, clicking buttons and toggles to kick off automated processes. And if that isn't enough buzzword talk to get you excited, I just, I don't know. I, we probably aren't meant for each other. I've talked with at least one accounting firm owner who's rolling their entire client facing tech with Stacker. And I think we'll see more people exploring this. Stacker's got a really interesting pricing model as well. Here's what you get for $59 a month, an unlimited number of apps, five included team members for an unlimited number of external users. So let's recap. You pay $59 a month. Okay. You can build an unlimited number of apps. Okay, apps like mobile apps, like websites. Yeah, like websites for an unlimited number of users. So I can build some killer app, super popular, everybody's using it. Mm -hmm. That's all it's gonna cost, nothing more. I mean, yeah. And I can make a whole bunch of these for different clients, right? The future is a wild drug. You can take a trial of Stacker today for free, which is super nice because you've never done anything for them. Check it out at stackerhq.com. Last month, Dex low-key launched their own Zapier integration, letting you take your document automation to the next level. Now, open integrations like this are important. Previously on launch. What does this mean? It means no fear of platform lock-in. means no fear of limited integrations because Accounting Daddy came in, gave you some money, and now you can only integrate with them. Props to Dex for being integrations first. We'll take a look at the new Zapier integration, but first, what's a Dex? Well, the artist formerly known as Receipt Bank is a hub for docs. Think receipts, bills, sales invoices, you route all these docs into Dext. It's gonna extract the pertinent details from these documents, then push them over to your accounting system. Takes the human work out of lifting these details off your client docs and will usually match automatically with the transactions coming through your bank. Integrations make this even sweeter because the biggest headache with docs is they're just everywhere. Every email, every employee, text messages now, PayPal, paper docs. So the greater control you have over how you route docs back to Dext, the better and then downstream from Dext, now you can automate follow-on steps. So let's take a look at the integration itself. We've got three triggers available now. Export receipts data once it has been processed. Export specific fields from your receipts when processed. And a trigger for when Dext would otherwise send out a new processed receipt notification. On the action side, we've got four actions. First is to simply submit an image of a receipt. So you can pull that in from Dropbox or any other third-party service. Submit an image of a sales invoice. Check if your clients have submitted any new items lately. Hey Dave. Yeah, it looks like you haven't actually submitted any new documents in the last few months. I was just checking in to see how things are going. I'll get right on that. So what is your take on Dogecoin? Mm. And lastly, you can even create a brand new Dex account from scratch with Zapier. So how can we shine a light on companies like Dex that are doing all the right things when it comes to integrations? They're not building their native integrations to appease their industry partners, but they're letting the user decide how to integrate their product. Why with the new Launch Integrator Hall of Fame.
So congrats to Dext on your induction into the Integrator Hall of Fame and head over to Dext.com to learn more. Notion holds a special place in my heart. It's my most used application of any software I use. It's arguably the hottest app on the web right now, so it was just a matter of time before Google came to squash it like a bug. We recently featured Google's Loom clone, and now they're building Notion features straight into Google Docs and Sheets. Is this the end? It's not the end, but it's a genuine improvement for Docs and Sheets. They announced this at their annual developer conference recently, and they're calling it Smart Canvas. And we'll be rolling this functionality out over the rest of the year. Here's a few examples of what that's gonna look like. I'll throw it down to Jason on the Illustrator. Thanks, Jason. Take a look at this. How about spawning document templates via text commands? I like it. You'll notice here they're also taking more of a database approach to these tables. Not your mother's four by three little table anymore that you can put any old text in. It looks like this column, for example, is a person type. This column lets you cast a vote. It's not totally free form anymore. And this approach of simply clicking on the margin to add an item to the dock, that's coming from Notion as well. I like that. Back up to you in the booth. I like this. It'll fall well short of the simplicity of Notion because the beauty of Notion is having all of your pages in this one little workspace where you can quick switch back and forth. But these features specifically will absolutely make docs better. So if you're a G Suite user, keep an eye out for these features in the coming months. Ever seen anything creative come out of the tax software space? The narrative is usually something more along these lines. I can't believe we still can't get modern tax software. Like, is it too much to ask to try to get something that looks like it's from this century? I mean, come on. Yeah, I'm bored of this. You always complain about tax software. I'm trying to run a modern firm, okay? Yeah, just stop. Wah, wah, wah. It's the same for everybody, Patrick. Well, good news. Here is a new open source tool to submit federal US tax returns. We forget the tax filing system is totally open. With a bit of ambition and elbow grease, anyone can build something helpful over it, just like this enterprising soul did. So let's take a look. Eat your heart out, UltraTax. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. It's just this then. Uh, so you put your info in, spouse and dependents, W-2s, 1099s, Looks like investment type 1099s and Schedule E's. Create PDF. So it's basically a PDF filler. Here's why I still like this. They've built an intuitive user interface to complete tax forms. The least intuitive thing imaginable. That's the name of the game for tax simplification right now. Building that layer between the user and the archaic form that makes it simple enough for anyone to understand. And there's some cool tech out there that could let you do this super easily. Take W4s for example, or W9s. Ever had a client understand how to interpret those forms? Me neither. But what if you could build a simple multi-step web form that people completed instead of the IRS form? You explain what they need to do in plain English, and at the end, they e-sign the completed form. You can charge for form completion and offer a genuine value to your clients. So is this a tool to replace your tax suite? Nope. But think about what you could build to solve those recurring pain points you have with your clients. If you're looking for a tool to build workflows around filling PDF forms, check out Anvil at useanvil.com. And to take this hot route for a spin, head over to ustaxes.org. First time you build your own API integration, your first zap, your first custom tool connecting A to B, man, you feel like a superhero. Oh. But once the number of integrations you have going starts to grow and you start pulling in your team on the process, watch out because things get hairy if you don't have a way to organize it all. Automate.io is among the leaders in the API connector space and they just launched team accounts. For me, this is a prerequisite to pick up an API connector tool because you never wanna be the only one on the hook for an automation. If something's mission critical and you're the only one that knows how it works, that's a bad place to put yourself in. So why look at a tool like Automate.io over say Zapier? Well, the big name tools are just that. They've got the most fanfare, most integrations, and in general, the highest price tag. Zapier is positioned as the simple solution, the first API connector people will pick up when they're starting out. 
and it does the simple stuff really well. But if you're looking for deep integrations into tools or more complex workflows, there's better tools out there. And automate.io is one of them. So if you need a way to collaborate on your automations with either your colleagues or your clients, take a look at automate.io's new team accounts to see if it's something that's for you. We spent a lot of time talking about commoditization, how to be one of a kind, overcome the bot uprising. Today, the quickest and most scalable way to be one of a kind, simple custom solutions for your clients. A simple mobile app to solve that problem they have or an integration to connect their systems. These are things you can genuinely build in 15 minutes. And by solving a problem that's unique to them, you become one of a kind. Now, one of the best tools for these simple builds right now is Adalo. And I know I'm right because they just got a big funding round. With Adalo, you can grab a template, plug in your data source, say invoices, customers, employees, that sort of thing, and very quickly publish web and mobile apps. It sounds scary, right? I know, it isn't. They made it as simple as can be. And to sweeten the deal further, just check out the pricing model. You can build all you want for free on an Adalo domain, but at $50 a month, you can build unlimited apps on a custom web domain for any number of users. No, we don't need to do that again. They got it, thanks. So check out Adalo at adalo.com. There's a showcase section to show a bunch of things people have built with Adalo, it's super impressive. And think about what pain points your clients have that you could provide a simple solution for. There's your six launches to make you more productive this week. Go make something cool. And if you aren't caught up on all the other weeks of launch, what are you waiting for, really? That's gonna require hopping in and doing that in every single day. Even Pete from Accounts Payable. Did Jim know about this too? Let's pull him in on this Zoom we're doing. Let's talk about these robots that are gonna put Kevin out of a job. 